In this video I'm showing how to copy files from a Sony Handycam HDR CX405 to a computer running Windows 10. The camcorder came with this USB cable so I'm just going to use that. You just have to connect one side to the USB cable that comes out of the handle here. And then connect the other end to the USB port on the PC. At this point the power slash charge light on the camera should come on. And then you just have to open the screen so that the camera boots up. And it should say something like it is connected using MTP. At this point Windows should play the sound that you usually hear whenever a new device is connected. And the camera should pop up as an option in your drives. From here it's pretty simple. You should just be able to double click on the camera and then double click on storage media. And the camera should have folders that are named with the dates that you recorded on. So you can open up whichever folder that you need and select the files that you want and right click and say copy. And then just paste them wherever you want on the computer. In this case, I'm just going to put them in the pictures folder. It is possible that whenever you connect the camcorder, you might not get this neat little camera icon. And instead, you'll get all of these different drives like this one named PM Home. And whenever this happens, it is a little less intuitive to copy the files off of the camera. There's a whole bunch of folders filled with text files and irrelevant stuff. It is actually possible to navigate your way around through the folder structure and eventually find the video files that you're looking for but it's probably easier to just change a quick setting on the camera. So back on the camera here, if I go to menu and then setup, and then navigate to the menu with these little arrow icons and then scroll down to the USB connect setting. The weird folder structure issue is caused by the camera being set to mass storage. I'm gonna go ahead and set mine to MTP and then click okay. Now I'm just going to select USB connect which tells the camera to talk to the computer again and if I go back to Windows I see that I have the camera icon available. So that's it for this video. Hit the like button if this was helpful and thanks for watching.